ants. Check that out for a 2CV. Oh, it is. Look, look, it's got a thing moving. That's made that noise. Fucking freezer's opened up. It does have a fancy name, but I can't pronounce it, it's in French. And it's where Beth and Ricky Hill are stopping from the Hills on Tour. They arrived there yesterday and it's a lovely campsite with pool. Woohoo! We need something, don't we? Because yeah. it, it's about 34 degrees at the minute, isn't it? So. I'll just turn that down because you might not be able to hear us. So uh, I'll just bake for a minute while we're talking. Yeah, it's really, really hot. Uh, France is hotter than Spain at the moment. Yeah, weather is, we found the weather in northern Spain a little bit intermittent. It was sunny for a few hours, then cloudy. A lot of thunderstorms, didn't there? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's like the for, for once, more than more north you get, the hotter it is at the moment. I do believe they're having hot weather back at home at the moment as well. So yeah, we're gonna head for this campsite, get booked in, get us trotters up for a few days, and then we're heading back up north towards Calais for Friday to set off back home on Saturday. So we'll let you know what this campsite's like when we get there, guys. And we'll speak to you soon. Uh, we're on the site with Hook Up. 34 degrees, it was roasting. Our fridge couldn't keep up. I had a thermometer inside the fridge um, and it was 18 degrees, so obviously the food was going to spoil. So I decided we needed to do something. So what I've actually done is a total cool, filled it full with water, to the film up, put it on the step and the table and it's actually blowing through the bottom vent of the fridge and obviously coming blowing the warm out up the top there if you put your hand up there it's really warm air coming out all the time and that means that it's helping the fridge to to ventilate these fridges in these motor homes and caravans are we're all right up to about 25 degrees outside temperature but obviously inside the van when it gets red hot it doesn't work very well so when you have a look now see that or not we've actually got frost on the fins now that's all ice in there you see it all falling off there's all ice in there so yeah and it's uh, it's down it's down to about eight degrees in there now which is absolutely fine so it's another good tip if you've got your total cool and you don't need to use it use it on your fridge just had the best cake ever I've always wanted to try one of these. I've seen them in lots of French shops. It's called Flan Ole Ente. Flan Ole. Here we go. Look at that, baby. Tastes a bit like a panna cotta, but vanilla. Really, really nice. Unfortunately, this is Mark's piece, not mine. Or Leociano Dieu. Um, yeah, and I'll just show you now. It's huge. I don't know approximately how many uh, sites there is on air pictures. Well, there's some touring and some static caravans. Yeah, there. there's there's little all sheds. The, there's all different. A mix of different stuff. All them stuff numbers in there. are what's it? It's a swimming pool and everything. Obviously, a bit limited to showing you yeah. the swimming pool. As we've come in June, we're just a bit a bit early, aren't we? And there's all entertainment next month in July and August. Uh, but it's a beautiful site. Yeah, and see. guess how much we are paying a night? Twenty euros. Unbelievable. And that's all water just around the corner. We've got a massive pitch. We have got a pool, jacuzzis, 
uh, bar area, everything you need, you need, everything, and the supermarket around the corner. Now next month when it goes up, it's a bit. Is it thirty six euros? I think. It's I think it does go up something like that. Yeah, so I don't. I ain't got the tariff here, but even at thirty six, it's a bargain. Mm. It is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there is a little village down the road. Mm. And the supermarket we've been to, we bought all sorts there. We bought this table and chairs, look. Yeah, look at this. So we went for some breakfast. We bought that for fifty nine euros. And we've bought, um, because there is a lot of bugs here, I don't do anything that flies. Got a mosquito, it just flies everything, like a killer, isn't it? Nine euros. So you plug in, and an adapter to plug in. So I'll just show you our pitch. We've got the wheelies right, there, right opposite us there. And this is our pitch. Yeah, it's just perfect for us. Yeah, it's brilliant all the way down there, isn't it? Yeah. Was, You've right. got Beth and Ricky from the hills on tour down there Very as well. Bad. It's massive, it's so quiet as well. So yeah, right. thanks to Beth and Ricky for finding it for us. Uh, we've got last night and tonight here, then we're setting off again further up France, heading back to Calais. Yeah, it's, Boo. Right. it's roasting, it's about it is. 30 to You can see what a lovely day it is. It's absolutely mm. gorgeous. making the way up and down the side of here we can't find where they're coming from yesterday we thought they were coming in from a cupboard up here but that was all cleaned out there was nothing in there and there was all the, there was about, what one or two ants in there so we have no idea where they're coming from uh, it could be a vent down there but yeah they're all over here again so I've got some major major cleaning up to do again this morning. Not a happy bunny, because ants get everywhere. Well, I never knew this was here, did you? Mm -hmm. I think we've driven through here, but it was all shut. Yeah. So it's like a car street for the area that we're in, but when it's shut, it looks like a ghost town. There's no one around, is it? Yeah. It was in this When it's open, it looks completely different here, and everyone shops really early in the morning. Mm. I mean, we've had to go up at 8 this morning, haven't we? Because it's going to be 37 this afternoon. You've had ants in your pants, haven't you? We've had ants in the van. We've woken up to ants, and they've actually broken into a carton of apple juice. Don't cupboard. know how they've done that in a cupboard. They've actually been through the carton. It was just wet underneath, wasn't it? Yeah. So they're licking all the apples and sugar up. So. so, yeah, we had a bit of a cleaning up job to do this morning. I hope we've got them all because I don't fancy going into bed tonight with ants in there. Mm. But yeah, this, I, we'll show you around now, but it's beautiful when it's open, it's lovely. Small chicken as well. What's in that tank over there? We're going to have a look. Oh, yeah. Lobsters. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, massive, wow, it smells of air. It's crap, isn't it? Coming up, coming up. Set them free. 
Yeah, it's not going to be boring, but it doesn't take you quite back and see you probably don't want to move around. Come down here, Mike, you get better. Look who you're looking. Oh. Well, that's all I'm seeing, isn't it? Oh, it's big king crabs. Well, this crab's moving. Oh, it is. Look, look, it's got a thing moving. Inside. Have you grabbed you? And the prawns are moving. Yeah. How fresh are they? Yeah, look, fresh. Look. Look. Not moving much, but moving on. Like seafood, isn't it? Marvin likes this. Look, 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 three pound, three euro ninety for one. Do you want to try one? No, not really. <laughs> no, I'm not bothered about trying that. It's just like green, isn't it? No. Yeah. Petit pois. Petit pois. Also known as pea pods, your favourites. First time I've seen Mark getting excited about fruit and veg. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What a lovely display. You can't beat fresh fruit when you're abroad. That looks really fresh. You are? Monkey balls? I don't think so. That's to show me a band working again. Have we got any more space for any more food anyway? I don't know, we'll be throwing it away. My ants have had it off. Bit random, wasn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Coming down the last little village street. What do you call them then? Tandems? Know, God knows. God knows. Yeah. I don't think they're the other one. Appreciated coming down here, will they? No, they frowned upon them. We get frowned on our scooters. We right. not found anything to eat. Well, we're lucky now. There's a cafe back up here. Isn't it? it looks like they only do drinks, so that's a thing. So we'll have to see, won't we? Yeah. So I have a lobster and tomatoes for breakfast or sangria. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, there's weather warnings out today for, for heat. In, in, where we are in this region, it's going to be 35 degrees. So it's 10 o'clock and I'm already boiling that. So. Nipped into a bakery because we can't find anywhere to get anything to eat. And Mark's just picked this poulet. It's a, a chicken uh, tacos, I call it. That's it, it's a tacos, tacos. And she's warmed it for him. And what's in it? It's chicken, chicken. like a sauce, cheese, and chips like French fries. And it's what like I've, everything I want. I'm, since I've been in France, I've never had anything as nice as this. I'm tempted to get some more of them, take them back with me. Oh, for God's sake. Mm. Chicken, cheese, and chips for breakfast. Mm. It's I really thought good. France was healthy. Really good, man. No, not going on now, are you? <laughs> Gonna stay for for the tacos. We do a booth one as well. A booth, yeah. They do booth and poulet. So we just stumbled across a bit of history. Uh, the next village on is called Saint Vincent Sajard, um, and I, I believe that the French French Prime Minister in World War One, who was called George. Clementu, sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, he retired from political life in 1920 and lived yeah. here for nine years until he died. It's so that's World War One. Yeah. So well, I don't know whether there's anything. I think there's a house still standing here. We'll see if I can find it where he resided and they've left it like exactly like when he died. Yeah. Not touched a thing. Big wagon, sorry. So we'll go and see if we can find that. Mm. We found the house. You have to have ID to get in. Yeah. We don't fetch his ID out. We don't fetch passports out with us, do we? No, it's so, locked up in the van. And it's eight euros to get in. So, yeah, we're not that interested. But it's yeah. an interesting fact. That's him there. Can you see him there? On that statue there. The big statue of him in the garden. Yeah, so... Yeah, lovely. French president lived here. World War One. Yeah. Bit of information there for you. St. Vincent... Sajard. Sajard. <laughs> it's like Warwick, I'll never yeah. get it right. It's right, full of French people, though, isn't it? Well, we are in France. Mm. This is the seafront. The sea's out at the moment, but it's so cool here on the, on the coast. It's so mm. much better than being inland. So we'll just have a little break and we'll just find this lovely little bench on the seafront, but... Yeah. Be warned, guys. 
France is expensive. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. I've just got that size of a lolly. Which is compared to my hand, it's tiny. It's yeah, like that's a magnum. a magnum. It's supposed to be a magnum. Magnums back home are massive. And a co cocoa. And they call it cocoa. Six euros. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely no, it's not a tourist place. Mm. So I've just realised as well, I've just looked at me can of pop and they put the straw through the ring pull. I never even thought that before. Oh, cans of pop are that as well. Oh, that's what they're for. That's what yeah. the design for that. Very clever. Top mm. tip there for you guys. Through the actual ring pull it's so unbelievable. She proper needs a really good wash. She's a right mess. But she's done as well, hasn't she, on this trip? Yeah. Yeah, we've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Spain and Spain and France, you can't go wrong, can you, really? No, the roads are great, aren't they? Yeah, the roads are fantastic. So this ends our European trip. Um, we're now going to be going into England, so you'll catch us on the next vlog in England. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, please like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And we will definitely, definitely see you on the next one, guys. I still wonder from time to time If I am fooling myself